Good day and welcome to another week of A Week at the Plot and a Monday segment. I've been at my desk much of today and I made myself an hour, an hour and a half that I could get down here today whilst the sun was still above the horizon. It's quite grey and overcast out there, but it hasn't been wet. A little bit of drizzle, but really so light you wouldn't really notice it. And on my list, which I started last week, I have put down the end beds here. And of course, we have four end beds. We have one which has the mint in it. We had one which had runner beans and our highly scientific broad bean experiment in. Then we've had the bed that had the Golden Gate and then the Madeira Maroon. So what I thought I'd start on today, oh, there's lots of birds going over in a flock. What I thought I'd start today is just cracking on with those. So I picked the runner bean bed and I've used my fork to take out the deep rooted perennial weeds that are there. I've given it a good hand weeding to take out as much cooch grass and sank foil that is in there as possible. And I'm just now going to leave it because in a couple of weeks time, I'll go in with my hand fork and I'll have another turnover of that soil to see if there's any more perennial weeds in there. But I'm just pleased that I started on that bed. You know, it just goes to show that bit by bit is a way that can work. And I think over the coming months with the shortening days, obviously, I'm going to try and get bit by bit done. I did want to start on the bed over by the raised bed where we had the potatoes, the Colleen potatoes. That's quite a big bed. It's 2.4 metres by 1.2 metres. And I thought, Paul, you don't have enough time to do that today. So what I thought is I just take that 1.2 metre by 0.8 metre bed, get that done. And I now have a sense of achievement. And of course, that hopefully will encourage me over the, the coming week or more to crack on with the other end beds there because it would be great to have those sorted by the end of November so that I don't have to worry about them because we're bound to get quite a bit of rain in December as we sort of normally do and then going into January and February and of course the soil will get heavier. The other area at the front where I want to put in the rhubarb that at the moment as you know is covered in a uh, a vinyl banner so the soil underneath is going to be relatively easy to dig because it's it's not going to be getting any rain so I'm going to do that maybe early December something like that. What I did want to show you is something that I picked up in the last segment from the um, the end here from the bench here one of our neighbours has been incredibly successful, plot holder, she's, she's a bit away. She's been incredibly successful with her butternut squash this year. And I just thought I'd show you the larger of the two that she's given us, though the smaller one is about three quarters of the size. There it is. <laughs> it weighs quite a tonne almost as big as my head that bit isn't that fabulous isn't that just fabulous what that will be at the moment I don't know but I'm sure it's going to be some risotto some chickpea and squash curry and um, also some curried squash soup I am sure but you know it, it's it's lovely now the interesting thing for me is, you know, I go on about heirloom varieties and heritage varieties and traditional varieties and how that's what I want to grow. These are butternut waltham, bog standard butternut squash seeds that the plot holder got from Wilco last year. I mean, you know, there it is. We get our heritage seeds, we nurture them, we, you know, look after them. And just her two plants produced about 16 butternut squash and they're all about that big 
amazing. Let me just, gosh, it's got, it's, sorry, it's gone a bit darker. I think the sun's going down and sometimes my screen goes black and I'm not sure if it's still recording. But you know what? That's it for today. It's a brief one today. I wanted to get one small job done and that I have done. I have sorted out initially an initial weeding of that edge bed. As I say, I will be going in with a hand fork in a couple of weeks time. But in the meantime, I'm going to crack on with the other edge beds over the coming week or so. So there we are. I'm going to leave it there for a short Monday segment and I'll see you again very soon, hopefully with a little bit more light. See you soon. Bye. Good day. It's about 9.15 in the morning. And I'm just going to crack on with another one of those beds. Most probably the bed there in the middle that had the golden gate in. Oh, something scrubbed up her garlic. I'm going to have to put that garlic back in. Nothing in the raw beans yet, but that's expected. It was really, really sunny when I was coming down here, but the clouds are coming in a little bit beginning to clear that bench which is good rookie error I had oh that's blown in I had that tub on top of here and look you can see that the iris are coming up and of course in the middle there are iris potentially iris I think that were flattened by having that on top of them yeah rookie error mind you I hadn't expected the iris to be up so soon also something else just looking down here this needs a tidy but look that's a freesia leaf that's a freesia leaf oh. nature finds its way as they say Right, well you saw me do this bed the other day, the runner bean and highly scientific broad bean experiment. I'll talk about that maybe a bit later in the week. But yeah, you saw me do this, so I'm going to do exactly the same on the Golden Gate bed. When I came, the light on here was fantastic because of course it's dew soaked and damp and the light was really quite incredible because the the clouds hadn't quite swept in at that point anyway crack on paul stop talking as you can see the sun has come out and the mood took me so i was planning on doing that bed having already done that bed and i did that bed then I did that bed down the end there and then in the shade here I did this bed as well and then I carried on weeding the parsnips and the carrots we still got carrots left which is great and then I came down here started weeding this bed there's a couple of cardoons there so it's this bed that I was weeding, not that one. It's a couple of cardoons which I'm going to offer to other people. There's a marjoram there, which I haven't taken out. And then I carried on just hand weeding along this side of the bed. Haven't touched that side over there, as you can see. This side weeded up to there, that side not. And actually that will do for me today day of long shadows look at that <laughs> look as though i'm wearing a dress i do have legs look yeah and then i also noticed that a chunk has been taken out of that label i think a fox must have bitten it
much to do but I'm so glad to be cracking on lots of streaming to be done but that will be another day because even though we're not having rain as you can see most probably we're having heavy dews so the grass isn't drying till much later on in the day anyway that's it for today glad to have got all of the end beds done and glad to have started weeding over there because that's where more Portuguese cabbage is going to go in. We've got those as plants in modules on the bench. Right, I'll leave it there with a shot of the brassicas in the sun or netted in the sun. Bye. Good day. Quick job done today on the bit that has been weeded. This bit, as you can see, has not been weeded. That'll be a weekend job. But as this ground was fresh and, or weeded and roughly forked, I just thought I'd rake it and get these Portuguese cabbage in. They're the plants that we got in modules and as I was doing this hopefully you can see you see just there broad beans one of Vivi's broad beans is coming up and in fact there's one in here as well but you can't see it because I've just covered it up but yes oh isn't that glorious I don't think we've got any others coming up yet that I can see no but yes this one is definitely one of Vivi's broad beans so pleased to have got that done bit of scrabbling in the bit of scrabbling in the bed here the garlic bed what's that oh no that's just a leaf at the end still much to do which is fine, and I'm saying that all the time, but these Portugab, Portugab, 
Portuguese cabbage are going to be happy to be in. I still need to do weed under here, down here, but this stretch will hold another three, well, three? Yeah, three Portuguese cabbage as well. And then, of course, I'll weed that at the weekend. Oh, I've just seen a vole again off camera. Um, yes, I'll weed this at the weekend and get more Portuguese cabbage in there. Brilliant. But look at the tops of these Brussels sprouts. Aren't they glorious? Lovely. The sprouts are, oh yes, lovely, lovely. And our plot neighbour's just come with her doggy as well. So I'm going to leave it there and go and give a doggy a cuddle. I'll leave you with the Portuguese cabbage. Bye. Good day. The sun was out this morning and Richard and I went for a really nice walk. And then it became quite overcast again. And thankfully, if you can see, the sun is beginning to come out a little bit again. And I am going to start hand weeding this bed and getting out all of that sank foil. Fingers crossed. As you can see, the sun has come out, which has been rather lovely to have that warming sun on my back. And this area has all now been weeded. Where the sank foil was deep, I've gone in with the large fork. And where all the other weeds were shallower, I used my hand fork. And actually, I've just counted up the amount of brassicas that we have, including these. So over here, I've put in the extra three that you didn't see the other day. So we've got two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven Portuguese cabbage in there. Plus, of course, we've got these here. And of course, we've got that bed over there, which is Dazzling Blue Kale, Nero di Toscana and Portuguese cabbage. And I'm not sure if you can see, but just here we've got some more Portuguese cabbage as well. So the other seedlings I'm going to offer out to other plot holders. Yeah, I'm glad to have got that job done. And yeah, so I counted up the number of brassicas and realised we have enough for the winter to take us through into May. And because there was so much sank foil in here and bindweed closer to this end up here, I've decided that I'm not going to plant up this side. I'll most probably cover it. And then I will look at giving it a really good fork over the whole two beds here, like I've done to these previously. Yeah. Plane going over. So that's it for this week's A Week at the Plot. It's only noon at the moment. I've only been down here for about an hour, but I'm pleased with the jobs that I have done. And I also noticed that there's more broad beans coming up, which is great. Thank you, Vivi. None of our garlic are showing through yet, but some of the onions that I put in a couple of weeks ago are beginning to show through, which is great. And yeah, I'm going to go home. I'm going to edit this into the YouTube upload and edit it for the Planet Vegetaria upload, of course, as well, which I do on my phone for Planet Vegetaria. I, I do it on our computer for YouTube. But one thing that was lovely this morning is um, my plot neighbour here. Um, uh, one of them is down and she has decided that she's going to edge her um her growing spaces uh she was on a hedge laying course yesterday a, a live head you know um hedge row laying so where you you chop down the living hawthorn and blackthorn and you layer it and she had a really great day yesterday which is lovely 
And today she's, I'm looking over there because I can see through my window. Um, she's edged one of her beds. And, and when I went up to see whether she would like some marjoram, that marjoram from the bed there that I was tidying up, I went, oh, you're edging your beds. Um, and when I say edging, she, like Vivi does. Um, so, um, yes, and they look all fantastic. She's put boards down and lines down and has edged it really, really well. So, so you know, I, I just love the way that different people work, um, work what they do. You know, it's fabulous. It really is. But yeah, that's it for this week's A Week at the Plot. And I'm going to be back later, actually. I'm going to be back later this afternoon. We have one small plot on the site that is becoming available at the end of this month because the tenant has decided to, um, to give up their, their growing space. So I'm meeting one of the current tenants at the community gardens to see whether she would like to take on the plot here and move over here. So um, I think it will suit her quite well because it's only, at the community gardens, it's nine square metres um, of growing space. And here it's about, I think it's about a third of a plot. So, yeah, you know, I think that will do her quite quite well and it's got a really really nice shed as well which is which would be great for her I am sure anyway I'm going to say goodbye and I will see you again very soon for more a week at the plot and I'm going to leave you now with a shot of the river Brent that I took whilst on our walk this morning see you very soon Bye.